Here we go. Once again, I, I don't need anything more out of you. All right, now, what I did was I made a, a worksheet that's gonna look very similar to your test, right? The first column, we're going to do our class. The next column is for the second algebra class, and the third column is for the third class. And then at the end of the day, then I will um, have it all filled out and I'll post it, all right? And if you wanna to listen to the videos, that's fine. Connor, get up. Who? Well, we're going to have to slide the desk over. So we just do it this way. It's the first one in front. So the first column is our class, second class, and the third class. And we're going to go down today. And if you'll notice, column one, two, and three are exact same things. All right, exact same things. All right. So if you can do question number one, you should be able to do question number two and three. If you know how to do question four, you should be able to do five and six, and so on and so forth. What? Brilliant. Okay. So here we go with number one. All right. Now, in this case, like you just said, it is already factored. So all we have to do is set the factors equal to zero. Set the factors equal to zero. Set the factors equal to zero and solve. So 3x plus 1 equals zero. 2x minus 5 equals zero. Now, at this point, all right, at this point, you should be able to just tell me the answer. All right, so right out underneath that, you should be able to tell me x is equal to what? And, or I should say, x equals 5 over 2. Okay, now, just a brief look at number 2. We would say x equals 0, correct? Now, on question number 3, it just so happens that there are what? three factors, so they're going to be what? Three solutions, right? So here we would say x equals zero, x equals eight, and x equals five halves. Everybody okay with that? All right, look that over tonight, all right? And you can listen to the videos. All right, here we go. Now I'm going down to question number four. Ms. Rodriguez, what am I doing? What? Oh, why am I calling on you? Yes, come on. Number one, always find the what? GCF. That's step number one. Every single time, is there a GCF? There is a GCF. And the GCF is 3x. All right, so when I pull out a 3x, I'm left with x minus 2. Now what? What's the next step? <coughs> Set the factors equal to 0. All right. So now we have 3x equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 0 or x equals what? 2. Okay. You're oh, no, you setting the factors equal to no, zero. All right, it's okay. I would want you to look at 3x and just say, well, obviously x has to equal zero. What? Quickly. Um, for the 3x equals zero, I don't think it's zero. Three times what equals zero? That's what the question is. That's why x is zero. And the other thing is I want to try to make crystal clear. Please listen, everybody. If I plug in a zero for x, which is what I'm doing up on the board right now, what does that equal? Right? You, I mean, you should just be able to say, come on. I'm multiplying three by something and six by something and getting zero. It has to be what? Zero. Everybody agree? 
And what happens if I replace the zero with a two? What's it going to be? If I replace that with a two, what's the answer going to be? Zero. How many numbers can I fit in for x that will make it equal to zero? Two. Why? Because the fundamental theorem of algebra says the exponent determines the number of solutions. There are two solutions. Is everybody hearing me? You with me? All right, now you should be doing number five. All right, here we go with number uh, number seven, sorry. Number seven. It's going right down the page. All right, Hanson. Go, factor. GCF. Is there a GCF? Is there a common X, Hanson? Oh, wait, no. You don't just say, you said yes. Now, don't just say no, just because I said, can you tell me there's not a common X? Why is there not a common X? Good, come on. That's why I'm saying, I'm trying to teach you to ask questions. Why? No, it has nothing to do with negative. Somebody tell them why I can't factor out an X. Sebastian. Because the 20 doesn't have an X. There's no X here. That's what common means. It has to be in what? All three terms. There is no common X. Are you hearing me? And that's what I'm talking about. Clear things up. Ask me a question. You'll be happy with the results tomorrow if you ask. Did you hear that? No GCF. You agree? All right. Now we just need to factor. All right? X and X. What else? Shh. Five and four. Five and four. And? Five negative. Beautiful. And so now, because we're brilliant, we should be able to just say x is equal to? Right. Now, please put the or between there for now. All right, put an or between there. Of course, I'm not going to mark it wrong. I'm just trying to tell you, can't be both. Some kids last year put 5 in for x and negative 4 in for x at the same time. Is everybody understanding that? All right, if you're going to check your answer, you put 5 in for both x's, and then you put negative 4 in for both x's. And if I put 5 in for both x's and negative 4 in for both x's, then what's true? It equals what? It equals 0. Thank you. All right, any questions? Sebastian, are you in the game? You in the game? All right, here we go. Let's check out number 10. Is there a GCF on number 10, Mr. Ricks? No. No, you're right. There is not. Try it. All right, tell me what to do. 2x and x. Did you agree there's no GCF? All right, so 2x and x. Where am I putting the 4? Wow. Okay, okay so you're in the game. Come on now. Got 100 on tomorrow's test. No messing around. I'll see you 8 period today and 7.30 in the morning. Yes, sir. You're welcome. So my answer is what? Beautiful. Now, listen, if you skip this test or if you skip this part and get it wrong, I'm marking it all wrong. Everybody hear me? So you better be make sure that's right. If you write 2x minus 5 equals 0 and you make a careless mistake, I can be somewhat sympathetic. But if you think you know, you just write the answer and you accidentally write 2 fifths, I'm putting a big fat x on the whole problem. So if you're going to do the mental math, make sure you do the mental math correctly. Everybody understand that? All right, very good. Come on now. Now I'll try to get the next one before I do. All right, Miss Weekly, you got a tough one. You're welcome. Bless you. Good so far. Now what? Is it possible for it to be six and six? No, not possible to be six and six because there's nowhere for the six to go. So now what? Now remember, here's what I want you to think about. Everybody, I want everybody to look up here so I can show you something. 6 times 6. All right, if you break 6 times 6 down, you can change that to 2 and 3. Everybody agree? 
And now I can put the 3 over with the 6. So now it's just what? 2 times 18. But is that one going to work? So what I'm saying. That doesn't work. So instead of putting the 3, put the 2 over there. Now it's 3 times what? 3 times 12. But is there any place to put the 12? No. Do you understand what I'm doing? Then this 2 times 3. So I can move the 2 over here and the 3 over here. So that becomes what? 9 and 4. That's how you find all the factors for the larger numbers. All right? Now, the only one so far, 4 and 9, where does the 4 have to go? Or is that possible? 4 has to go on the left. You with me? All right? And then 9 would have to go on the what? Now, does everybody understand? That is critical so you don't have to guess and check so much. That step is super important. Now you just put your smiley faces in and see how you're doing. How much is this? Eight, and how much is that? Is eight and 27 possible to make 19? Yeah. If the nine is negative and the four is positive, correct? Okay, so now everybody in here is smart enough to tell me now that the answer is X is what? Or 9 over 2. Beautiful. All right, that factoring problem, honestly, and I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding, most kids cannot do that. It's embarrassing, I know. Not us. All right, if you follow my technique, it's very simple to factor. All right, here we go. 16, uh-oh. Now, should I, should I pull out a 2 or divide the 2? I want you to learn to divide the 2 out because there's not a variable involved. All right, so make sure you make yourself a note. If the GCF is a constant, divide it out. All right? So I'm dividing by 2, dividing by 2, dividing by 2, all right, which is not necessary. You don't have to write that step. You should just be able to look at that and say what? x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Everybody hearing me? You going to try to factor that? What? Factor that. Good. Exactly. All right. And now, final answer. Um, X equals? X equals period. X equals 2. Now, for those of you guys who are brilliant, what is that called? It's called thank you very much. Very, very important. It's called a double root. All right. The answer is the same. All right. And again, we'll be talking about that coming up soon. We'll move back on the graph. Or on like the test or whatever, if it is double No, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't care. I just want you to be smart. Mm. Double root. You can say, you tell your math teacher next year it's a double root, they'll go, wow. It's pretty good. All right? Double root. X equals 2. All right, moving forward. All right, Cole, what are we doing here? Yes, I would prefer that you say the x minus 5 first because that shows that you're factoring out the x minus 5. Agreed? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now I'm just reviewing number 20 with you guys. Everybody look at 20. Sebastian, sit up. No, no, no. That's why I want you to sit up, pay attention. Tell him. Very good.
Pay attention on that now, Sebastian. You understand me, right? Come on. All right, it's all right. So what do I do? So this five, and, and for me, guys, um, I, I, I don't want you crossing things out. So X parentheses, X minus three, this positive becomes a negative five, and then three minus X becomes a what? Say, hold you, just say the answer. Don't listen to anybody else. Yes, thank you. That's what I wanted you to say. Then you factor. Okay, hold up on that. Is everybody agreeing with me on that? All right. And then you factor just like before. I'm not going any further. All right. If you want the details on that explanation, you can listen to uh, number two. All right. Anybody have any questions? Good. I just want to do it. All right. Okay. So for question number 22, Hanson, what do I have to do? So you can't put the x squared over. It would be a negative. Right. So the x plus one. Over. And what does it become? Equals. Equals zero. All right. <laughs> now, hold up. Does anybody have any issues with why it's negative? Did, did we already have this problem? No, kind of. No, it was kind of. It was x squared minus x minus 20. Yeah, it's the same problem, actually. True? Yeah. I made a mistake on that. I didn't mean to make it the same. So, again, just because it would be then what again? Uh, x minus x 5. Minus five. X, x so, x equals? X equals five, x. Beautiful. 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 Right? Okay, so 25 is considered a hard one. How many solutions are there? Should remember that four solutions. All right. So now, this Danzy factor. Good. 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 Keep going. Not Keep going. Good. And then? And then x is, x is equal to negative 3. Or plus or minus 3. And then x is equal to negative 3. Yeah. So here we go. So on this now, we're writing x is equal to plus or minus 3. Or x is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay, so just give it some time here. It's coming back up, so don't worry. We can do the next problem. All right, well, we're rating on uh, the uh, Epson. Anybody have any question with 25? So what does someone get? Uh, x equals plus or minus 3, and x equals plus or minus 1. In a minute, it'll be right back up here. You'll see it. All right, everything else is still running. Anybody have any questions with that? All right. Now, if you look over on 26, um, yeah, 26, same thing. All right. Can anybody see what it would factor for number 26 while we're waiting? I'm on 26. Yes, 25 and 1. All right. It would definitely be 25 and 1. All right. Anybody? Um, okay. So here we go. Now let's go down to question number 28. All right. Make yourself a note. Is it set equal to zero? No, it's not set equal to zero. If it's not set equal to zero, we want to make it set equal to zero. So what do I have to do? Yes. So now it's going to be x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. You understand that? Come on now, see? No. It's not set equal to 0. You see what I'm saying? Erase that garbage. Alright? Now you 
Christianity are these seven good rivers. I don't think it's minus one. Or it's already minus one. So what I do is add one. Do you want it equal to zero? Do you understand that or not? Are you sure? So look up on the board and make sure you're writing x squared plus 6x plus 8. Sebastian, are you with me on that? Will, you haven't said much. You still good? Julian, got a chance to make 100 tomorrow. So far, so good? All right. Tomorrow, yes. You better be ready. Now we're factoring this. What do we got? X and X. That's right. X plus 4, X plus 2. <coughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect. You good? What? What? If you put x plus four and x plus two, I think that would give zero and then I put zero. Doesn't matter. Yeah, because you get the same answers. Okay, here we go. Thirty one. Thirty one. Now, honestly, thirty one is the hardest it can probably get. Alright? The reason why this is hard is because you can't just add nine. I have to do what? Yeah, you have to multiply it out first. Now, remember what I tried to tell you guys. I really am hoping you can just look at that and say x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals negative 9. Most people cannot do that. So let me show you how I did that. All right. Obviously, x squared is x times x, right? Now, we've done the smiley face enough that your brain should start to look at that. It should be able to pick up this is what? 4x minus 2x, which is that 2x. Does everybody see that? And then the 4 times negative 2 obviously is the negative 8. Is everybody happy with that explanation? Yeah. All right. Now, is it set equal to 0? No. So I have to do what? Add 9. I have to add 9. So now it's x squared plus 2x what? Plus 1 equals 0. And so now I have what? X plus 1, X plus 1. Bless you, bless you. So X equals negative 1. And it'd be nice if you just put down double, double root because uh, it's just helpful to put it into your brain. All right, does anybody have any questions with that? Are you good on that? You worked it out? Everything so far? Is that the last problem? Okay, so again, today, listen, I, I uh, normally don't tell kids this, but I think some of you have, you're reaching a critical point. So here, here's what I normally do because this first test sometimes is hard and kids have a hard time factoring. And so then I call your parents and then your parents make you learn how to factor. That's how it seems to be. For me, what's going on? For most of you, anyway. Um, so, generally, these tests. Does everybody agree how related these tests are? Let me see. If you can factor, all you have to do is set the factors equal to zero, right? Yeah. So, if you know how to factor, then you can do this test easily. So, what I have often done, but I I don't make it known, is that if you do better on tomorrow's test, that grade will go in for your last test also. All right, so uh, that's a big help for some of you, a big help. Don't blow it. Does everybody hear what I'm saying? Don't blow it. So if you get 100 on the test tomorrow, I'll put 100 in for the last test. All right? Brilliant. These, handsome. Um, you, you understand me, right? Tomorrow, if you make a 92 on the test and you got below a 92 on the last test, I will change your last grade to a 92. All right? So some of you guys are in the doghouse because you decided to play around and not listen. For whatever reason, this is a huge opportunity. All right? Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. All right, I, I, that's all I can do. No crying is going to change it. 
all right? None. I, I'm, I'm, it's very generous. All right? So, again, take the opportunity right now to go and do the second column and the third column. All right? And then if at the end of the day everything will be done, I'll post it, and you can double-check your work. All right? If not, you can listen to the video for the second class and for the third class. All right? What? Yes, exactly. Because you're setting it equal to zero, right? And so that means I'm moving it from here to here. Agreed? All right, guys. No talking. Just working. Got lots of time.